Hi, I'm Lou and I'm about to connect the generator to my main house circuit panel. This interlock plate prevents the main and generator circuit breakers from being turned on at the same time. It's not only a great idea but required by code in many states. Unfortunately, they cost around $75. I'm going to show you how I built this essentially for free. This comes from the power company and this comes from the generator and they both can't be on at the same time. So we'll make a plate that only allows one. First, we'll build a lockout template out of cardboard. Start by cutting a one inch strip of cardboard from something like a cereal box. Cut one six inch long strip and three one inch squares. Cut a quarter inch notch out of two of the squares. Use a nickel or a quarter to trace a round end on the six inch piece and cut off the corners. Make a dot right in the center of that circle. Now we're ready. We'll start by taping this in place right here. We're gonna drill a hole right here so we need to take off the panel and make sure there's nothing behind it. Our pivot point is right about here and there's plenty of space to drill. We'll mark it with a punch and drill with a self-tapping screw. Take it back out and put it in with our cardboard. Leave it just loose enough so it swings. Swing it down about an eighth of an inch and put in this stop against the breaker and tape it in place when the breaker is in the off position. I'm doing this with a headlamp because I turned off the main power to the house, but you want to move this up to where it clears this breaker and then put this stop against the main breaker right there. You can see already it's either going to allow this to switch over or this to switch over, but not both. I've got this piece of aluminum I'll trace it onto and cut it out with snips. We'll drill out the pivot point. Make the hole big enough so it swings freely on the screw. In hindsight, I should have left a little tab and bent it up for a handle, but I can just cut one in here and bend it up with pliers. That's what my third cardboard square was for. We'll screw our plate in. This is pretty good as is, but if you bend it way out like this, you could potentially turn on both switches. So we'll put a fender washer here to stop that. Here we are all installed with the generator and the main both off. The plate swings freely with the generator on. Now you can't turn on the main. You have to turn off the generator. That falls down and you can turn on the main. Thanks for watching and good luck building your interlock plate. Click below to see me install this generator and convert it to natural gas.